The lead might not like ever been really good enough for making some type of splash in the OU viability whatsoever. Even from its starting generation, it had a quite a hard time hit it off, and I never really believed Generation 5 allowed it to work, even though it was the fighting generation, it just never really hit off. Medishan was always the second best thing and probably more preferable to use. And even with Mega Galeos in Generation 6 eventually. It was in the same generation where Medisham got a Mega Evolution just before it, and even the 110 speeds were still good. There were a lot of other Pokemon with some real viability that was, as a Mega Pokemon, better. But also, it was the same generation where Talonflame had Gale Wing, so what to do with a fighting type, right? It never really had, it, honestly, a possible chance. I don't believe Generation 7 nor 8 really allowed it to work either. And while I like to call dates it with Assault Fist, yeah, it's just never been good enough. It's always been kind of niche pick, even though it is incredible. It just isn't incredible enough in contrast to other Pokemon just like it. However, this generation looks very different, and it will be different for a lot of different reasons than I was initially thinking it would be. It turns out that its new ability, Sharpness, will fundamentally change not only how Glade itself will work, but also how viable a potential fighting type could be in the future, considering how they're weakened it since Generation 5. As Sharpness will boost your base attack by 50% on individual moves that are theoretically sword based or blade like, and considering that this generation not only will Glee get Sacred Sword, which is a fighting move with base, like the base power, it will also get the new Ogre Cutter and it will also get itself agility, fundamentally revision itself how well it will work. And considering that Sacred Sword is now in theory thanks to boost, a 135 base attack plus stab, which will be clocking in at 200 roughly, this is a stronger close combat with no drawback whatsoever, no defense drop not whatsoever, and this move actually ignores defense changes. So all of a sudden, Sacred Sword is an incredible tool for Gulade as it just is so spammable and so incredibly strong. Psycho Cut will now be 105 instead of 70, and will be by default the strongest physical psychic stab in the game, and consider that. Like I said, 125 of Glade's base attack, it will be incredibly hard hitting. Night Slash will also be at 105 and will be an extremely great replacement for Knockoff. While Knockoff theoretically is stronger, it will not be as consistent as Night Slash will be and combine that with Ghost Beam might be a better switch in or Ghost Steel or whatever to be able to deal with the main stabs. Night Slash will be an incredible tool to make short work out of them. And the filler moves on Glade is really not that bad either. Hell, I'll even say there are incredible to use depending on your scenario and what you want to deal with head on with your team. For example, Leaf Blade will now be 135, which is basically stronger than Solar Blade, which is also boosted by this. Don't use that. But extreme great overkill for war types who want to potentially check this. I mean, Gastrodon and Quagsires. You were dead really by Leaf Blade alone, but now you're definitely dead. <laughs> there will be no, no quarter on this one. And since Olga Khadr will now from 80 become 1 to 20, you will become an incredible tool if you want to capitalize on that instead of Leaf Blade. Safe with Fury Cutter. I just want to say this. I didn't know the rules for Fury Cutter whatsoever, but realize that it becomes maxed out at 160, it starts with 40, and it doubles. So it becomes basically 40, 80, 160, but with Sacred or with the, um, the shop disability, it becomes more like a starting power of 60, then 120, and 240 base power move. It's not a lot of other mods when I take that hit. While it seems skillful to be able to pull in that off, you can't miss and you can't use another move, 240 base power might be an extremely good exchange for that. Airlace is not confirmed to be a blade move, but is speculated, and if so, it's a great night by night base flying move for Glade, and it could be great for checking other fighting types and maybe more other Glades, if you don't want to have the Psycho Cut filler, even though with Stab it could be just as good. But overall, 
Gallade has an incredible move all of a sudden that could be definitely capitalized on moves that maybe haven't really got in a second watch because the base power is just low. Shop does allow them to be not only incredible but extremely viable as a whole. But even with all of these changes, Gallade of course still have issues and has a uh, a cap on how viable it really can be, so it might not be an OU Pokemon, even though it has scenarios where it's incredible viable due to it. First and foremost, its speed towards 80 will force it back, even with agility in mind. Do you want to use agility to be able to capitalize on Gallade, or do you want to switch it in and out? I feel in and out scenarios are more likely, and also, even though the combination of Sigur Sword and Night Slash, which will be its main combo for sure, it's an incredible, almost perfect combination of you know, opposing Pokemon. It will allow fair times to you know, thrive versus it. So most likely, even though it has a sharpness ability, it will be forced to run a filler moves to be able to deal with fair times. So even though Psycho Cut might cover them, it also might not. And I think that's an issue. So Poison Jab, for example, might be a thing here in the future. Even though I think Sacred Sword, Psychic Cut, and Night Slash might fill the worst with that in mind. And also, how nice wouldn't it be if Behemoth Blade was a move that delayed God? I'm just saying, a 180 base power of nope. It, that is something I'll happily allow Gallade to have. I don't know, it's so incredible seeing Gallade, you know, somewhat viable again. It really makes this old man happy. It really does. So as always, I just want to say, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. I really, it really helps out the channel, it really does. And I'll see you guys in the next video with the next buff. Till then, take care. Bye.